to it. What do you know? I never thought this was finna happen, but according to Blue Blood TV, Canelo Alvarez and his team looking to test the water against Sergio Kovalev at light heavyweight. And if that's true, and Canelo proceeds with his plan of fighting Kovalev at light heavyweight, trying to conquer a fourth weight division, even though he never really conquered a 168-pound division, and he haven't really conquered a 160-pound division, till he fight the likes of Charlo and Andre. However, I'd rather see Canelo Alvarez fight a Kovalev at 175 rather than a trilogy match versus Triple G or fighting another Rocky Fielding to avoid a Charlo or an Andre in the process. So if Canelo Alvarez is sincere and he want to fight Kovalev, more power to him. He will get all the credit in the world. However, that's not a light task. I mean, people sleep on Kovalev, but he only lost to Andre Ward. And Andre Ward is a Hall of Famer. And he's a fighter who haven't lost a fight since he was 12 years old. He was a gold medalist. And he was the best fighter of his era at 168 and 175. And he proved that. However, Kovalev did get knocked out by Alvarez, but he avenged that loss and he got better, in my opinion, as far as using his experience to his advantage and his um, boxing ability with his new trainer. I feel like that Kovalev will give Canelo Alvarez a lot of problems, especially with his jab and his power. And if Canelo Alvarez does jump two weight divisions to fight Kovalev, Yes, he got a granite chin, and he proved that versus Golovkin when he got hit by clean punches. However, the power at 175 is not the same at 160. And Canelo is not really an inside fighter. He has great head movement, but with the length and the size of Kovalev and his power and the fact that he could move and box, man, he's going to give he's going to give Canelo Alvarez a lot of problems. And in my opinion, he will be the clear favorite in that fight if that fight does get made. However, I doubt the fight will get made. But if it does, like I said, I will give Canelo the credit he deserved. Even though he's still avoiding Charlo and Andre. He's he been avoiding them two fighters since he was at 154. And the proof is in the pudding. He never fought Charlo or Andre when they was champions at 154. And when Andre held the WBO title, never considered fighting him, even though he called him a, a bitch and disrespected him. However, as soon as his belt got taken away from him, I don't know if it was due to inactivity or problems with his promoter, and Smith took the title, he fought Smith right away. And he not, he stopped him with a body shot. So that tells you right there he never wanted to fight Andre. And Charlo had a belt also. And he never considered fighting Charlo, even though Charlo stayed calling him out respectfully till he got tired of getting no response. So he started disrespecting him. He still ain't fought him yet. And Charlo been at 160 and the mandatory for the WBA for the longest, or the WBC, I should say, um, almost two years now. And Canelo still ain't looking his way, and the WBC haven't even mandated that fight yet. So I don't know what's going on with the WBC, man. But if you're going to duck Charlo and Andre and fight Kovalev, at least that will make up for a little bit. And I guess Canelo Alvarez would, <laughs> would rather risk losing to a white fighter instead of a brother or something. So I don't know what's going on. So like I said before, Canelo Alvarez, that's a, that's a fight I never thought that he would be considering. Even though, yeah, he want to make history with Mikey Garcia by winning a title in the fourth weight division. However, that's a huge jump. And like I said, you never really tested the water at 168 because Rocky Fielding, it was, he was a bomb, man. Let's tell it like it is. I ain't finna sugarcoat it and none of that. You know what I mean? So fight somebody that's legit at 168 before you jump and make the same mistake that Mikey R.C. made and fight Kovalev and you find out that the light heavyweight division ain't sweet.
and the size difference will be tremendous. However, <laughs> let's not forget who Kendall Alvarez is. You know, the catchweight king. So he reclaimed in the second fight. He beat him with his own style, Mexican style, right? So we got a clear winner. In the third fight, I believe he stopped Triple G, and I'm not interested in that. I mean, Triple G haven't fought nobody since the two fights with Canelo Alvarez. He's been fighting bums, turning down Charlo and Andre fight, and Canelo Alvarez and his team told him, if you want to fight with us, fight Charlo, like the WBC mandated you to for the position, or fight Andre and get that belt, and we could unify for Undisputed. However, Triple G didn't follow along, and he went and fought another bum. So if you give him a title shot, it's a joke, man. Like, Triple G ain't, Triple G ain't earned that shot, and he ain't do a damn thing. So at the end of the day, let Triple G prove himself first by fighting a, a fighter that's legit, and Canelo Alvarez need to pursue a Charlo fight, an Andre fight, or a fight with Kovalev. So... Subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about the second, don't listen to these casual ass fans. And and follow Latoon Boxing on Instagram for the best boxing memes. So peace and we outie.